Good morning, friends. Morning, Miles. I have very exciting. Well, I have to. I've, I've been sleeping and I wake up and I feel so discombobulated. It's like I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm in a movie and I don't feel like I'm the real person. It's just so strange. Um, but last night I listened to a Lynette's journey. Like, before, I love listening to Lynette's journey because it's just so refreshing and it just, I love this. She's had like eight strokes, I think. So, she has a little bit of experience under her belt. But, um, so I was feeling, I had always been feeling so strange. And I was excited today because it's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Daddy. And my dad thinks my Aunt Susie's kind of crazy because she's a little off a rock. She's hilarious. I mean, so... And my Aunt Susie always has, like, a Halloween party, and her and my mom and their other sister are the, the, those witches, um, like, the three witches, I'm not sure what movie that is, but, oh, and I'm not who I am. Stephen, what is that, um, that, the witch movie with the three witches? Well, anyway, my mom, her sister, and the other sister are all the three witches because that really is them. I mean, it's just so perfect. So, for some reason, I was having a dream about my Aunt Susie being at my dad's birthday party, and it was just so funny. I was laughing my head off, and then I was like, Kimmy, you have to get up. And I woke up and it was like not even, it was 10 o'clock at night last night. So my brain was off. But I didn't get confused. I just went back to sleep and I woke up this morning and I feel so normal. And it's so strange. Like, the way I felt, like, when I first, not my first, didn't work and I was um just taking care of my brain and uh, it felt kind of like that. I was like, wow, this feels cool. So I just needed to get back into my Kimmy's kitchen and doing normal things and my brain doesn't feel so out of kilter and I'm just excited to do this stuff but it'll have to start after festivities today. Because, well, I have to go get festivities for my bed and me before counseling because you got to get festivities up before to get energy to prepare for the party. So, um, so I just wanted to say thanks so much, Lynette, for talking about what you do. And I want to get some ideas of what I can talk about when I listen to hers, but then it totally goes off my brain, it's like, eh, hey, what if, I don't know, so, you guys, tell me, besides I have wet hair and I need to dry it, um, tell me what I should discuss, what you guys want to know, because it is helpful when there's somebody that's been through this. Oh, when it, when it gets warm and I'm able to go back to my office, I know now that I met that somebody just sat there crying to me, telling me how much relief it is to be able to talk to somebody who understands. So I just want to be that for you guys. I like to talk to you and be somebody that maybe we haven't gone through the exact same thing, but realize that, I don't know what I want you to realize, just 
just reach out because it's amazing to connect with other people and realize things are crazy with these injuries. I mean, we could talk about how they're different from each other, how they're the same, and it's fun. And I'm not sure. Stephen, wait, you had, wait, I'm not sure. Was it you that had a stroke and then another brain aneurysm? I don't know. But, I mean, there are so many things, and I find that so fascinating because I think that I've been through, I mean, nobody deals with this. And I think about my aunt who's dealing with cancer. Nobody knows what she's going through. And and I think about the other ones of you that have had massive ischemic strokes and um, I don't know the names, but there's different names of all the things we go through. And I like kind of funny, um, but you guys, we just need to talk about it. And it's so refreshing and exciting to just talk to someone and let them know, like, when we can give them resources they would have never thought about having. Maybe they wouldn't think that, hey, just walking in the grocery store with a shopping cart is so much easier than walking with a cane, so I should go walk in the store with a shopping cart because that's what I like to do when you don't have me balance and I can shake my booty. So, you guys, just let me know something exciting and maybe I should start doing this like Connette, but her, yeah, thanks for giving me the idea. Probably going to start not very long, but I wonder if, hey, Steven, does it sound too strange if I'm just sitting here writing? Oh, look at my hair. Does it sound real strange just sitting here pedaling, pedaling on? Oh, I'm almost at a mile, and then I've got to go get ready. But hey, this is such a great idea. Oh, thank you so much, Steven. Um, yeah, well, I feel like, you know, I was not this excited. I've been waking up so confused, and I felt like I was in a dream, and I was like, I would call my mom, call my boyfriend, and I was like, I don't know what's going on, guys. He took me out to eat, to try to get me normal, and I'm like, wow, feeling all like, everything is crazy, but... I just feel so normal today. I guess this is what I get for Dad's birthday. It's so exciting. I've written a mile. I need to blow dry my hair. But I just want to talk. Now I'm going to talk to me. So. So I need to blow dry my hair. Guys, let me know something you want. You would like to hear on this talking random Oh, it's not my birthday, it's my dad's birthday. Oh, and my dad. Hey, can you do the math? Um, let's pretend he was born in 53. 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 2003, 2013, 2014, 2023, 22, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, Countless time that works so that's like the best. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pretend. But hey guys, have a great day and don't forget to smile because life is so amazing. Thank you.